Okay, so my next question to you is, if if I'm not wrong, you know, so you have plans to move abroad, you know, in the future and to work and settle abroad. So, uh, what do you think, you know, uh, how's the opportunity for CISA certified holders, you know, outside India? So, what opportunities are available across the globe? So, like, since CISA is a global uh, certification, I'm pretty sure, like, every country is going to have opportunities for CISA certified professionals, especially the uh, auditing uh, companies like uh, the big four, Deloitte, PwC, and all of those. And even apart from that, a lot of businesses are uh, looking to streamline their processes and improve their IT and business functions through internal audits. So uh, any in company like uh, with an internal audit team would also be a good opportunity for uh, us. Correct, correct. <laughs>
like uh, if i ask you uh, okay i'll i'll divide this question into two parts uh, on weekdays and weekends uh 5 hours 4 to 5 hours not more than that 4 to 5 hours every day all right yeah. and uh, do you used to uh, face any difficulties studying for long hours like you know uh, or do you used to take break in between like 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 you used to study in morning and in evening or like you used to study at a stretch for 4 to 5 hours no honestly uh, your videos were quite interactive i mean not interactive they were they were interesting it it they weren't boring lectures so i could sit for 4 5 hours together which i did usually all right all right okay uh so my next question to you is what should be the strategy of the students to clear the exam in the first attempt and what approach they should follow okay so any advice you would like to give to you know these people who are currently studying for this exam who are the future cis aspirants i basically followed what you said blindly you asked me to study the domains in a particular order i did the same and i did the revision twice did the mock test that uh, that were given by you prepared by you and that was really helpful in clearing my exam uh, one mistake that i made i think was uh, uh, trying to read my cisa review manual and uh, the crm which i finished three domains reading three domains and then i realized i was wasting a lot of time just going through the cisa review manual where your notes and lectures were more than enough so i wouldn't like if i could not do it i wouldn't read the manual again basically okay. so i would like to add here something uh, it's not that the review manual is bad or something it is written exceptionally well but the issue what comes is that you know when you start reading lots of theories you know you you are not in a position to apply those concepts read in terms of the questions right and when you start solving the questions you know solving the questions and reading any theory content both requires different uh, you know involvement of your brain so when you read something you are just understanding the concepts but when you solve any question you know you are applying whatever you have learned and when you start applying the concepts that time you realize that you know you require much more things i mean you require much more skills in terms of you know reading the question well analyzing the questions you know identifying the hints you know uh, uh what isaka expects from you you know in a specific question so so both requires different skills so uh review manual it is good i am not against it in fact if if if, if uh, everyone can read i definitely recommend to read it but at the same point of time you need to understand that in the end your exams will test your application skills you know are you able to apply the concepts which you already know right so that will be tested in the exam so you know it becomes very important to you know balance between two things so you, you should, what you i meant not... was yeah yeah please yeah what i meant was uh, you had mostly covered everything from the review manual so it was unnecessary for me to read it <laughs> okay all right all right Okay so my next question to you is if if i'm not wrong you know so you have plans to move abroad you know in the future and to work and settle abroad so uh, what do you think you know uh, how's the opportunity for cisa certified holders you know outside india so what opportunities are available across the globe so like since cisa is a global uh, certification i'm pretty sure like every country is going to have opportunities for cisa certified professionals especially the uh, auditing uh, companies like uh, the big four deloitte pwc and all of those and even apart from that a lot of businesses are uh, looking to streamline their processes and improve their it and business functions through internal audits so uh, any in company like uh, with a internal audit team would also be a good opportunity for uh, us correct correct